Alberta Premier Daniel Smith said her slate of anti-trans policies likely won't be voted on or enshrined into legislation until the fall. But at least one school district in the province is reportedly already putting some of the directives into place. According to a new report from Post Media, Red Deer Catholic School District Superintendent Kathleen Finnegan is reportedly going from school to school giving a presentation on pronouns and gender identity disclosure that directs teachers to out students to administrators and remove pride materials from classrooms. Alberta Teachers Association President Jason Schilling told Post Media that he's heard from teachers that Finnegan is telling staff to no longer engage in conversations with students on topics surrounding pronouns, and that staff should not inform students of their own pronouns or ask for students' pronouns. Schilling said that there is a, quote, clear directive banning teachers from referring to students by any name besides the one that exists on the official record of the student, unless parental authorization is given. That means no nicknames, shortened names, or use of middle names. Schilling also said some teachers told him they were instructed to remove rainbow, quote, safe space stickers from their classrooms by the end of this school year. Now, I reached out to Finnegan and the Red Deer Catholic School Board to confirm these reports and have yet to hear back. But let's be real, if they are as they seem, it's a scary thing to see these policies already being enacted at the school level. When Smith does formally introduce her new policies, they could very well face legal challenges, like what's currently playing out in Saskatchewan, where Premier Scott Moe's slate of similar policies is currently subject to a legal challenge from UR Pride, an LGBTQ2S plus group in Regina. That challenge is set to head to court in late April or early May. And legal challenges seem likely in Alberta, too. Last month, a coalition of 36 legal experts in Alberta urged their province to reconsider the new policies, arguing that they violate the charter rights of transgender youth. But until the policies are made official or struck down, it seems that some school districts are just going ahead with rolling back the rights of LGBTQ2S students, and we should be very worried.